Hey y'all, I'm Tatiana. We will start our practice today sitting in Virasana. Find a comfortable seat. Keep your spine straight, relax your shoulders. Find yourself in the space you are in. You can close your eyes. And let yourself arrive at this present moment. Take a deep breath in and long breath out. Bring your hands close to your heart. Start to move your hands to create heat. Do it as vigorous as you can. And with the warm hands, put them onto your chest. Breathe into your chest. Feel the warmth from your hands and slowly press out. Bring your hands to your belly. Inhale. And slowly exhale. Eight words again. Take your hands. And bring these worms from your hands to your kidneys on your back. Inhale to your lower back. And exhale slowly. Inhale. Keep your shoulders relaxed. And exhale slowly. Release your hands. Bring your hands to your knees. Inhale. Exhale. Now we will divide our breath into three parts. Our inhale into three parts. And we will associate every part of the inhale with a part of our body. We will start from the belly going to the chest and to the throat. Inhale one third to the belly. Inhale second third to the chest. Inhale the third third to the throat. Pause and slowly exhale. Inhale one third to the belly. Inhale second third to the chest. Inhale third third to the throat. And slowly exhale. In the exhalation, imagine that all the air that you brought to your throat is going down and releasing around your hips, creating a kind of a wide, soft, and warm blanket around your hips. It's going from out, down around your hips, and it's so pleasant to be in this cocoon created from your energy, from your breath. You're just uh, feeling this energy moving up to your throat and down to your hips. Exhale fully. One third inhale to your belly. Second, third, inhale to your chest. Third, third, inhale to your throat. And exhale slowly. Now we will just count. One, two, three, pause, exhale slowly. Inhale one. Two, three, and exhale slowly. Use the energy around you. Imagine a wide, beautiful cocoon 
It's so warm, so pleasant to be in. Simply embrace. Enjoy this pleasant sensation to stay with yourself. Open your eyes, pass your hands up, open your chest, open your ribs, inhale, let the air in, feel your rib cage fully, and exhale, squeeze. Inhale, feel your rib cage fully, and exhale, squeeze everything out. Inhale, and slowly exhale. Inhale, and slowly exhale. Interlace your fingers on your back, bring them to the left side like a holster, and bring your left ear close to your left shoulder. Massage your neck to the left side and feel the strengthening of the neck on the right. Your right shoulder is pulling down. And your neck is long, long, long on the right side. Such a nice stretch. Good. And switch the lock. Bring your holster to your right. Bring your right ear close your right shoulder. And stretch the left part of your neck. Your left shoulder is dropping down. Interlace your fingers on the back. Open both of your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades, open your collarbones, open your chest, inhale, and exhale. Release the structure, and we will meet in down, uh, uh, not in down, I to alley. In a tabletop position, your hands are under your shoulders, your knees under your hips, your toes can be tucked or untucked. Up to you. Then you can keep your eyes uh, closed or open, but still keep your concentration inward. Observe the natural movements of your body. Feel where you would like to go now, where your body wants to move. Let it be your personal movement. Imagine any idea of the pose or the structure or the beauty, aesthetic issues. Is just let it be from inside of you. Where you want to go. Let your body guide you. We explore the feel your breath, your in breath, and your out breath. Feel how your body wants to move when you inhale and when you exhale. Maybe with your inhale, some, something opens and with your exhale, something closes. And we will meet in tabletop again. Find the solid structure of the tabletop. 
Feel your long neck. Elongate your spine from your tail to the top of your head. Inhale, exhale. On inhale, round to cat pose. Press the floor away. Breathe into your back. Inhale and exhale, find the cow pose, open your collarbones, open your chest, your hips going up. Inhale and on exhale, find the cat again around your spine. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, open your collarbones. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, open. And exhale, round your spine. Inhale, open. And exhale, round. Find your neutral tabletop, the stability that comes from this pose. Bring your weight into outer edge of your thumbs. Feel your thumbs, how they're pressing the floor. Switch the weight to your empty finger, to your middle finger, your ring finger, to your pinky. And again, make a round, bring it to your thumb. Make a couple of rounds with your wrists, shifting the weight from your thumb to your pinky. Very good. Now bring your fingers facing towards your knees and shift your weight back and forward. Feel how your chest can go wider and further because your shoulders now are more open and stretch your waist. Very good. Now interlace your fingers and slowly massage your wrist. Turning them forward and back, forward and back. Sit again on your heels, tuck your toes or a toe pose. Make sure even your pinkies are touching the floor. Interlace your fingers, bring your hands up, look up. Find this light back bend in your back. Inhale and exhale, roll your spine. Inhale, open. And exhale, forward your spine. Inhale, open. Now create it in the cow pose and close around your spread back in cat. A couple of rounds again, inhale. And exhale around your spread. Inhale. And exhale around your spread. Inhale, bring your hands up. And exhale, bring the hands behind you. Find the slide. Pushing of your hips up. A little accent like you're doing a bridge pose. Bring your hips up, push up, and sit down to your heels. What the real feels and energy in your toes. Now release them. You can push the floor. You can wriggle your hips from side to side to release any tension if you have any. And we will meet in down facing dog. Our first down facing dog. Also here. 
Find the pushing action in your hands. Bring your biceps slightly forward. Find the inner line of your hands. Inner line of your legs. Like as if you were squeezing the block between your thighs. Feel your inner thumbs, the inner part of your thumbs and inner part of your toes. And bring the weight from your toes to your pinkies, both in your hands and on your legs, in your feet. And move them from toes to pinky. From toes to pinky. Feel your arms activating, pushing the floor away. Feel your hamstrings activating in your legs. Also pushing your hips up and back. As if somebody was pulling your hips up and back towards the back wall. Elongate your spine with a pleasant sensation of low, low spine, no tension in the neck. Now shorten your stand and your downward facing dog. Find the buoyancy in your knees. Look forward. And walk or jump to the outsides of your hands. Move here. Find the seat, like global asana. Take a deep inhale, bring your hands close to your chest. Inhale, rise up. And exhale, fall forward. Inhale, half ready. And exhale, fall forward. Bring your hands to the floor, raise the floor away, step back into plank toes. Find your plank, inhale. On exhale, slowly lower yourself down. Push up, lower yourself. Find cobra pose, rise your chest up, open your collarbones, inhale, exhale. Inhale, lower yourself down, push the bar away, and find your down facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Find the buoyancy in your knees. And we will try to make it more flow now. From here, look forward, bring your legs outside of your hands. Sit low, inhale, bring your hands to you. Exhale, rise. Inhale, bring your hands up. Exhale, sit again. Inhale, bring your hands to the floor. Exhale, push up. Inhale, bring your knees to the floor, your forearms to the floor, slide to upward facing dog, and exhale, down facing dog. Again, find the buoyancy in your knees, walk or jump to outside of your hands, sit low. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands to you. Inhale, rise up, bring your hands up. Exhale, sit low. Inhale, bring your hands to the floor. Exhale, jump back to back pose, chaturanga. Inhale, upper facing dog. And exhale, close down facing dog. Inhale, and exhale. Find the points in your knees. Inhale, jump both sides of your hands. Hands in front of you, inhale. Exhale, bring them to you. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, sit down. Inhale, hands to the floor. Jump into plank. Inhale, bring your knees to the floor. Forearms to the floor. Exhale, upward facing dog. And down facing dog. Inhale, look forward. 
jump outside of your hands, inhale, exhale, inhale, rise your hands up, exhale, sit low, inhale, hands to the floor, exhale, push up, bring your knees to the floor, forearms to the floor, slide into upward facing dog, and exhale, find your down facing dog. And the last time, find the points in your knees, look forward, jump and walk through to outsides of your hands. Find the low seat, inhale, exhale, bring the hands to you. Rise up, hands up, inhale, exhale, sit low. Inhale, hands to the floor, jump back into plank. Inhale, hand, uh, legs to the floor, forearms to the floor. Exhale, find your upper facing dog, inhale, and exhale, down facing dog. Take a deep inhale, and long exhale. From here, shift the weight to your left leg, rise your right leg up, inhale, exhale, bring it to your right side. Left leg is back 90 degrees, right leg is back 90 degrees. Rise your hands up. On inhale, straighten your back leg. Inhale, exhale, sweep your weight forward to your right leg. Rise your back leg up, crouching warrior. Extend your front leg and find the warrior three. You can keep your arms close to your body or in front of you. Find your drishti. And exhale, bring your left leg back, rise your hands up. And back, anjanyasana. Touch the place you cannot see with your arms. Inhale, exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Rise your right leg up. Inhale. And exhale, bring your right leg close to your left leg. Shift your weight to the right. Left leg rises. Exhale, left leg close to your left thumb. Right leg bend 90 degrees. Left leg bend 90 degrees. Rise your hands up and here. And then exhale, push your back leg up. Strengthen your back leg. Inhale. And exhale, shift your weight forward to the left. Rise your back leg up, crouching forward, and slowly extend your left leg and find your warrior three with your arms close to your body or in front of you. Inhale, legs in your spine. Exhale, bring your back leg back to the floor. Rise your hands up and find your deep back bend in your Ajnyasana. Touch the space you cannot see. Stay here. Enjoy the opening of the chest. And close. Bring your hands close to you. Push the floor away. Bring your left leg up. And close to your right leg. In your down facing dog, take a deep breath. Inhale and exhale. Again, the way to the left leg, rise your right leg up. And right leg slowly goes close to the right thumb. Both knees are bent 90 degrees, rise your hands up. Inhale. And on exhale, extend your back leg. Inhale, bring your weight forward, rise your back leg, crouch your warrior. And on in exhale, find your warrior three. Arms parallel or in front of you. Inhale. Exhale, bring your back leg back to the mat. Rise your hands up. Your Anjaniyasana. Inhale. And exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Rise your right leg up. And bring it close to your left. Shift your weight to the right. Rise your left leg. Left leg slowly goes close to the left thumb. Both knees are bent 90 degrees, rise your hands up. And then exhale, push your left right leg, 
strengthen your right uh, right knee. Inhale, bring your weight to the left leg, rise your right leg, and exhale, find your warriors three on the left. That's in front of you or close to you. Inhale, and exhale, right leg finds the floor again. Rise your arms and touch the space you can see. Imagine your heart is on the platter and you're showing your heart to everyone. Receive the openness. Receive the ease. And close everything. You bring your hands to the floor. Right your left leg up. And bring it close to your right. Start to feel the breathing in the body is a huge we are building. Down to down, facing down. We will do the last round of sun rotation. B. Rise your right leg up. Inhale, exhale, bring your right leg close to your right thumb. Both knees are bending 30 degrees. Rise your hands up, look up, inhale. On exhale, extend your back leg. Inhale, shift your weight forward, rise your back leg. And on exhale, find your warrior three. Bring your hands in front of you, inhale. On exhale, bring your left leg back to the floor. Arm rise up and behind, Anjini Asana. On exhale, bring your hands to the floor. Rise your right leg up. And now shift your weight down and forward. Find the upper facing dog. And on exhale, close into down facing dog. Shift your weight slightly to the right. Left leg rises. On exhale, left leg close to the left side. Both knees up in. Rise your hands up. And on exhale, extend your back leg. Inhale, shift your weight forward, rise your right leg up. And on exhale, find your very three. Experiment with the balance. Inhale. On exhale, slowly touch the floor again with your back leg. Rise your hands up and behind. Find your engineers. Inhale. On exhale. Bring your hands to the floor. Now press the floor away. Rise your left leg up. Look forward. Inhale and slowly exhale. Lower yourself down into upper facing dog. Inhale and close everything. Exhale, down facing dog. Find your breath. Now we will add some balances to this structure. We will rise our right leg up. Inhale, look over. Slowly bring your right leg close to your right thumb. Double bend leg arch. Rise your hands up. Inhale. Exhale, extend your back leg. Shift your leg forward. And exhale, on your warrior three. From your warrior three, bring your hands close to you. Your back leg. Close to you, bend your left knee, bring it close to your chest. You can even interlace your fingers close to your left knee. Feel the pushing action in your left knee. Your support was here. Inhale. On exhale, bring your hands away and hold. Hold. Breathe. Keep your balance and slowly start to extend your left leg forward. Slowly bring it back and slowly start the transition into half moon. Your leg is still bent, your knees is going up, up, and to the side. And slowly start to descend on your right hand to the floor. The block, the floor. 
God and feel the twist of the half moon. Inhale, exhale, start to close your left knee, bring it close to your chest. It may be ridiculous as a balance, you can do it many times during this transition, transition but continue, just be with yourself, explore how you feel, extend your left leg, again bring it close to you, find the body of three, and bring your left leg to the floor. Wonderful sensation. The right leg must be very tight now. Find your Jinyasan. Sit lower, lower as you can. Relax your hips, spine your back leg. Bring your hands to the floor. Raise your right leg up. Look forward and slowly descend into upper twist and dog. Inhale and on exhale, send your hips up and back into downward facing dog. Inhale and exhale. And we are here for the left side. Shift your weight slightly to the right. Rise your left leg up. On exhale, reach your left thumb. Both knees are bent 90 degrees, rise your hands up. And on exhale, shift your weight over. Inhale and exhale, find the warrior three. From here, bring your hands close to your chest, bend your back knee and bring it close to you. Interlace your fingers, hold. And your passive branch of motion, swing your right hip close to you. Release back and let it push the ball in front of you. Reach, 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 reach. Bend it again and start the transition to half moon on the left. Do it as free as you can, as you feel comfortable today in your body. It can be looking very much different from mine. Mine is 100% not, not ideal. Find the twist in your body, look up if you can. And start to bring your knee close to you. Reverse. Rise a step, rise your knee up. Push the ball in front of you. Bend your knee again and bring it back. Find the lunge. Wow. Inhale. Bring your hands behind you and find a jinyasana. So you can rest in a jinyasana today. Now it became a resting pose. Open your chest and enjoy. Sit lower than you can. Lower than you think that you can. Find the depths. Open your chest. Slowly bring your hands to the floor. Rise your left leg up. Inhale. And exhale, look forward. Find the upward facing dog. And send your hips down facing dog. Send your hips back. Now, I would like to teach you the passive down facing dog. It will help you to release the tension to invert the breast pattern because our legs will be uh, inverted and our heart will be below our hips. For, from here, we will create the loop with our belt. We will step into the loop, we will bring the uh, block between our thighs, tighten the belt. 
So we will feel the inner line of our legs here. It will be very useful also to improve your downward facing dog stand in general. And we will put the front head on the bolster. The height can be different from for everyone, just find your height, the bolster. In this position, we will stay one or two minutes. You can stay even longer. And we will do the rest in down facing dog. You down facing dog. Push your forehead to the bolster. Find the softness. Adjust the height of your bolster if needed. Then just possibly rest your forehand on the block on the bolster. Keep the pressing action in your hands. And then get your spine, push your hips back, up and back. Now our legs are bent. We are not losing energy, we are accumulating energy. We are just plugged in and we are receiving beautiful energy from the universe. We are concentrated in our inner line, inner line of our arms, of our legs. The belt and the block is helping us in this work so we can do it passively, not to think too much about it. And just feel that you are receiving. You can bring attention to your breath. How on inhale, the backs of your lungs are rising up. You can feel it on your back, your lungs. And on exhale, you can feel the natural throat lock in your throat with German Arabanda. It helps naturally just because we are inverted. Feel your breath going up and down. And in this case, down is a uh, what is usually up for you. Everything is inverted. And then slowly start to come out of the pose. Very, very slowly liberate yourself from the strap and sit on the block or on the blanket for at least one minute. Feel your body, the changes that happen in the body, the blood flow rushing down. Your press, maybe you feel it lighter as I am. I definitely feel more space in my lungs because I was concentrated on breathing with the black back of my lungs in down facing down.
And from here, we go to a hero pose. You can do a supported hero or hero on the floor. For supported here, you just widen your heels and your knees. Put the bolster behind your back and slowly lay down on your bolster. Interlace your uh, forearms and bring your head to your forearms to rest. Open your shoulders and stay here. This is for supported hero. If you want the whole hero pose, you just can remove your bolster and slowly descend to the floor. Hold your elbows and bring them back. Draw the breath here. How is your inhale? How is your exhale? Make it even your inhale and exhale. Come out of the pose, start from your hands, and then push far away with your hands, and slowly rise up. We will meet in child's pose. Bring your forehead to the floor, feel the third eye area. Feel your body recharge with energy. Today we are working in ebb and flow style. So we will have a flow when we are moving our body rhythmically, and then we will have an ebb. A phase when we just rest, we do passive poses, supported poses to recharge our energies. From here, we will find our down facing dog again. Remember the feeling you experienced when you bind with a block <laughs> between your legs. If this sensation is very useful, to improve your down facing dog in general. Take a deep inhale, long exhale out. Look forward, find the points in your knees, inhale, rise your right, right leg up. And on exhale, bring your right close to your right thumb. Rise your hands up and find your border too. Open your chest, control your warrior. Always today. The outer edge of the back foot is pressing to the floor. Your front knee is pushing forward, close to the wall in front of you. Inhale, reverse your warrior two. Inhale and on exhale, bring your right elbow. Close to your right knee. Bring your left arm up. Look onto your left arm. Inhale. Exhale. Bring your left arm even further. And bring your right arm parallel to your out. Find the twist in your body. Your hips are very stable. Your legs are very strong and stable, pressing to the floor. Elongating and you have a twist in your body that you make with your rib cage and you're helping to balance with your hands extended. Inhale, exhale with your right leg, uh, right arm to the floor.
Rise up, strengthen your front leg, shorten your stance. It may be useful also slightly widen your stance for triangle pose. Rise your hands parallel to the floor. Shift your weight forward as if you were touching the wall in front of you. And slowly start to descend. Bring your right hand close to your shin. To the floor in between your first floor and second finger look up imagine that you want to lean on the wall behind you it will help to find the twist in your upper body Look up, rise your body up. Then find your goddess pose. Bend slightly your knees. Your toes are looking slightly inward. Rise your hands. Move your body from side to side. And bring your hands to the floor. Extend your knees. Find your wide stand. Imagine that you would like to kiss the floor, kiss the mat in front of you, lower your head. Rise up, inhale. Shift the weight on your right side, or skandhasana. Shift the weight to the left side. First, Kandas on the left. Then slowly, like a spider, to the right. Find your lower low lunge. Right in your stand again. And find your lizard pose. Bring your hands in front of you. Push your chest forward. Bend your left knee, grab it with your right hand, and find your twisted wizard. You can pull your left feet close to your left bottom. It's pushing action if it's suitable for your body. So you can lengthen your front line. Slowly release. And find your Hanimumana. Hanimumana. You can be active or facing. You decide to do what you need most. For facing, you can help yourself with the blocks. You can play with it if you like. It's important that you. Keep your hips square and if your spine is straight over your hips. I don't want you to lean forward on your leg now. Just stay above your hips. Here, shorten your step. Now you can just find your three poles. You can bring your left leg up close to you and bring your chest close to the right leg, to the right side and look in front of you. Or you can find your hands there or hands there with left leg in anything up.
And here again, control the breath, invert it. Slowly come out of your inverted posture. And we will meet in child's pose. Take a deep breath in, blow breath out. And from the child's pose, push your hips up and back, hips down, facing up. Rise your left leg up, and on exhale, slowly bring it to your left side. Find the warrior three on the left side. Open it, make it beautiful, make it more aggressive, less aggressive, passive as you like, but make it how it suits for you today. Create the solid base in your legs. You are the outer edge of your right foot is pushing the floor. Reverse your warrior, bring your left back over your head, and let's see slowly reach with your left elbow, your left, press your right arm over your head, look up. Extend your left leg to the floor. Bend your left knee up. And from here, you can extend your left arm and your right arm. Find the rotation in your torso. If you're more comfortable, you can keep your left arm on the floor. That's a rotation. Imagine if you want to lean against the ball with your back. Your legs are strong. Slowly rise up, shorten your stance. Also here, not only shorten, but maybe slightly widen your stance for a triangle pose. Make your arms parallel to the floor. Look forward. Shift your weight slightly forward, maybe slightly bend your knees, slightly, slightly bend your knees, and start to descend with your left arm, with your left hand, to your shin, to the floor, or in between your fingers. Find the twist. Leaning against the wall behind. Rise up. Again, find your wide stand. Bend your knees. Move your hips from side to side. Then count with Kandasana on your right. Sit as low as you can. Slowly shift your weight to the left, Kandasana. To the right. And find your lizard for your leg. Left leg is forward, slightly widen your stance with your left leg close to the left edge of the mat. Your hands are under your shoulders, open your chest, elongate your spine. Bring your right knee to the floor, bend your right leg and grab it with your left hand from the pinky side. Open your chest. Your twisted laser. You can grab your feet from pinky side or from toe side. You can 
feel the difference. And you grab from pinky side, you'll see more side stretch, and from the toe side, you'll see more profile stretch. It's interesting to experiment with your own way and tell you so many beautiful sensations, stories. Release slowly. And find your Kanumanasana on the left. Now the left is forward. Can be active. We are holding it like this. Or it can be passive, supported by blocks. Or if you are very flexible, you can do support, stay on the floor. But it's important today for our practice to keep your hips squared and to keep your body on your hips. Do not lean forward or back, just try sitting on your hips here. Slowly come out. And we extend your left leg, lean your hips to your right for counter pose. And find your handstands or headstands. And now we will switch our legs. First, we raise our left leg, our right, our right leg. So let us say, and we will leave the child's pose. Breathe into the backs of your lungs in child's pose. Open your hip cage also on the back. And this last part of our Lesson today, try to pay attention to your breath, where it goes. Bring your breath to the places you may need to feel it or just experiment feeling it in the places you usually don't feel. Like, for example, in the back, in the kidneys area. I feel it's so pleasant to massage my kidneys area with warm hands. It's so stress releasing from me. Slowly rise up. And we will meet in a bridge pose. For today's bridge pose, I will show you two variations. First one is uh, not supported classic bridge. You will bring your hands parallel to your body, or you can grab your uh, legs, your ankles with your hands, and you slowly rise your hips up. Or you can make it faster just by putting the block under the lower parts of your tailbone. Find the point when it's comfortable for you so you can completely release your spine. And you almost don't feel the pressure on your shoulders too much on your on the base of your neck. 
it's so relaxing and restorative if you think about it. Also here when you inhale, your breath is inverted. The air comes to your throat on the inhalation and finds a natural block in your throat, John Parabanda. And on the exhale, it goes down into your hips. And the videos are down in the lower part of your body that now it's up. Just do a couple of rounds. Paying attention on your breath. Slowly come back on your bridge. Find your spine on the floor. Natural core for this time. Bring your hands to the floor. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Bring your hands in deep position. Your palms facing up or down, depends on how kind you're of comfortable. And shift your hips slightly to the left. And your knees are going on the right. You can bring your right heel or your left knee to make it more intense. If you have any sensations uh, in your knees or in your lower back, you can put a blanket between your thighs. And enjoy the twisted position. If your knees are twisted to the right, your head should be twisted to the left and both of your shoulders touch the floor. Come back to neutral. Feel the spine on the floor again. Shift your hips slightly to the right now, and your knees are going to the left. You can bring your left heel to your right, right knee and slowly twist your head to the right. Both shoulders are on the floor. Slowly come back to neutral. Swing your hips from side to side. And we will meet in a seated pose. You can bring the block under your hips for the cushion. Raise normally. Here you can find your office or just bring your legs in front of you, crossed or not crossed. 
keep your hips elevated. They should be slightly above your knees. Now we will do the lotus breathing to close our practice today. And imagine that in your hips you are having the roots. And uh, the lotus flower will be on your head like a crown. It will open and close following your breath. So your inhale from your roots will bring all this energy up. You open your crown, close. And on exhale, slowly you close the lotus flower and bring the energy down and wide, wide in your hips. Inhale, up, 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 slowly goes up. Open the flower, pause. On exhale, slowly close the flower and bring the breath down to the roots, to your hips. Let's do it together. Inhale from the roots. Open the flower, hold, and slowly exhale. Inhale from the roots. Open the flower, pause, and slowly exhale. Try to visualize your breathing as much as you can. Just imagine really that you have all this rules that the breath is coming up in here, through your body, through your throat, through your head, up, 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 open the flower. Find the pose and exhale slowly, slowly, slowly close the flower. The box deflates, your body deflates, and it comes back to the nose. Play with your imagination, inhale. Pose. And exhale. Inhale. Pause. And exhale. Inhale. Pause and exhale. And as my teacher says, when the breath is so clean, it becomes a mantra. I would like to finish today's lessons with the mantra. It's a mantra about the peace in the whole world. Loka Samasta Sukino Babant Loka Samasta Sukino Babant Shanti Shanti, Shanti. Thank you all. You can continue your practice in your Shavasana.
Take a deep Shavasana, stay in your Shavasana as much as you can. And I wish you a wonderful continuation of your day. Peace.